Hey everyone, Tom and Bunny here, and I know we're getting ready to watch our next video. And if you find this video useful or some of the videos in the past, please do us a favor by booking your travel through us at tomstrips.com or give us a call at 1-800-285-0853 and I can answer any questions and get you booked on your next lifestyle vacation. Hey everyone, we are Tom and Bunny with TomandBunny.com. It's right there on the bottom of your screen. <laughs> if you're watching us on YouTube, if you are not watching us on YouTube and you're listening to us on podcasts, we invite you to jump over to YouTube and check us out. Just search Tom and Bunny. Mm -hmm. And if you're watching us on YouTube and you prefer to listen to us in your car, we're on pretty much every major podcast network. So you can just search Tom and Bunny. <laughs> We make it simple. We try to make it simple. We actually work for Tom's Trips, your leader in adult lifestyle travel. And this is how we are able to do these videos is because of your viewership, your comments, your feedback, but more importantly, booking with Tom's Trips. Yes. So call me. Yes, call the phone number is right there on the screen right now. Call Bunny and she'll she's a low pressure salesperson, but she'll answer all your questions. And you'll talk to me, not my assistant. <laughs> yeah, we, Bunny doesn't have an assistant. So real quick, there is a story on that. When people do call the eight hundred number, and when but it, it's really flattering. It is very flattering. And when Bunny answers the phone. And the people get all giddy or they uh, get tongue-tied and then they say, I didn't think you were going to answer the phone. <laughs> I thought you would have an assistant. And what's your response? I am the assistant. <laughs> Bunny is the assistant. <laughs> yes, we work a real job, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> so we just thought that was kind of, I thought that was kind of funny. work a real job straight from my phone wherever my phone's at I'm at yep we tell people you know a lot of people work from an office other people work from home we work from the phone currently my phone is up there recording us I used to work from up here in in this yeah. little studio yeah, thing we have, that we have that, now. the lighted area over Bunny's head right <laughs> yep. there that's a little cubby with a dormer window, and that there's desk. <laughs> I should start working back up here again because whenever the phone would ring, I'd have to run up here, take care of it, and then run back downstairs. I should do it because then yeah. that'll give exercise. me exercise up and down the stairs. There's 17 steps from the from Well, the then you got to come floor. down these steps to go back up these yeah, steps. Yeah, yeah, so there's always. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. I'll put that back up here. Now, one of the things we do tell people all the time is... If you ask us questions, a lot of times we will respond to your questions. Mm -hmm. However, when we get asked multiple times, we feel that there is a need for our answer to be more public and more on YouTube or podcast because we figure if we get five or more questions, there's got to be a lot more people out there that have the same exact burning question and oftentimes we get Oh my God, I ran across this video or this podcast mm -hmm. and you answered. Well, we don't say we answer all the questions. What do we do? We give our opinion. Yeah, which doesn't mean nothing. <laughs> no, just <laughs> us. We're the only ones that care about our opinion. Well, we're the content creators that say our opinion is just our opinion. It means absolutely nothing and you could take it for what it's worth and we hope what works for us may or may not work for you, but we hope it works for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, we if do. If that makes sense. It completely. Okay. So, But we always say, ask five other people that are in the direction you're looking at, and you'll get five varying answers. And then just choose the one you resonate mm -hmm. best and the most well with. Of course you do. Yes. Of course you do. Now, you know, and it's... There's so many different content creators out there from all aspects of life, and which is what absolutely makes this new pineapple world so great. Yes, and I really and I really absolutely love that. And we all have our little following too. I mean, because there's some that are much younger than us, and there's some that are older than us. Yep. So we fall right in there's there. There's content creators that host hotel takeovers mm -hmm. so they offer a great 
um, advice because they're talking from experience. Um, they're like Bunny said, there's younger content creators, there's our age. Yes. There's some that are just straight lifestyle. There's some that are into fetish. Fetish. There's poly. I mean, you name it, all gamuts are covered. Now, we will start off by saying there is no right or wrong way of navigating the lifestyle. However, you personally choose to navigate it is the most accepting way to navigate it. You do not have to conform to others' ideology to be in this lifestyle. That's absolutely it, I, 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 cause I, the absolute but, truth. But all the creators will give um, advice, suggestions, and everything, and that's what makes it great. It gives you may resonate with another creator more. You may resonate with us. You, it doesn't matter. Or you may resonate with multiple creators. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because some of us are still on the same wavelength. It, it's just great. Yeah. <laughs> I just love listening to, and talking to other people about it, different situations right so we just got recently a, we recently so we just got recently at backwards <laughs> uh, it's my hearing it is your hearing. i mean literally i know i'm gonna go stay off topic for a second um if you guys have been following us i have had multiple surgeries in the last six couple, months six, is six months six months i i've had a hand surgery mm -hmm. and then i had a cochlear surgery yeah then I had a penile implant surgery. Yes. And then I just had another cochlear surgery. And the um, cochlear, penile implant, cochlear, all within one month. Well, a month, <laughs> month and a half. Yeah. I yeah, mean, it within. was just bam, bam, bam. Yes. Yeah. But it's our slow, <laughs> it was our slow time. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I was going to say, come July, you're going to get your butt probed. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it's that time. I forgot about, don't, don't, no, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> what is that called? An endoscope? No, you're going to get a colonoscopy. Colonoscopy. <laughs> I thought it was an endoscope or something. That shows how old we are. <laughs> right. So, yeah, unfortunately, we got to go through all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, uh, just a Quick, quick, quick update. I am healing great. My implant is three weeks old, mm -hmm. and we've used it twice. Uh, you know, we, we recommend not using it for about three months, and I will still go with that recommendation because the last two times was a little painful. I had mm -hmm. to deflate it really fast. Say as we... Yeah, say as we say, or do as we say, not as we do. There, there it is. That's what I was looking for. I'm, tell, I'm backwards. I'm backwards. But, um, so we did talk to our urologist, mm -hmm. our urologist. Our. Great guy. Love him. Love him. And I told him, I said, hey, when we are talking about you going on video coming up, I was on drugs. Were you serious? And he goes, absolutely. So he's going to come over here to our house one of these nights. We just have to. Can get... I? Okay, go. Get get the schedule. You... But can I reiterate the fact that you were on pain medication and you were on um, coming out of anesthesia. You weren't on drugs. That, right, 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 right. <laughs> you were medicated. I, 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 I was legally medicated. So. Uh, are legally on drugs. I'm doing the air quotes because somebody's going to put us on blast. And they always do because they didn't hear the context. They only heard the headline. Yeah. So let's hear the context before we make comments, please. So anyway, everything's healing well. The doctor is coming to our house. He's going to do, a po well, we do all of our videos and then we turn them into podcasts. So... It's going to be probably several weeks, maybe three, oh, four weeks. Our travel schedule is crazy. Right, because he can do it during the week. And our, we're, I mean, we're traveling from Thursdays through Sunday, and Monday is a recovery day. Mm -hmm. So that only usually leaves a couple days. So um, look forward to him. He's actually going to join us on several. Um, years ago, we were doing videos on ED. Mm-hmm. And we did a, quite a few videos, and 
I took them off. I, not that I have thin skin, but I was getting more negativity about my ED from supposedly people that didn't have ED and uh, or how can I talk about it or be so open about it, blah, 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 blah. The fact is, is how many percentage of people with uh, diabetes have ED? 80, 80%. 80% of people with diabetes have some form of ED. We're going to talk to the doctor. We're going to get real numbers. But one of the numbers is um, on the ED thing is if people don't talk about it to their doctor or their wife, how many people truly have it? And that, yeah. That we don't yeah. even know exactly. about. Exactly. We only know about what's documented with urology and mm -hmm. family practices or Viagra sales. <laughs> I, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that, that's how they're documented. Well, Viagra sales that they know of, they don't know right. all the other ones. The that India. Are, yeah, exactly. Acquired. We're not <laughs> saying you should go to no. India or order from India <laughs> or go to Mexico. Just, it's gotten cheaper though. It, has it? Yeah. I haven't, I haven't yeah. priced it. It doesn't work for me now. <laughs> no, I say we haven't priced that in a long time. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to bring back a lot of those ED videos. I, I didn't delete them. I just turned them off. And you know what? I'm just going to grow thick skin, and I'm just going to put them back online. And hopefully the negative comments I can weed out. But if, it, if those videos help people... That's the important. If it helps one one guy out there, mm -hmm. or even a couple trying to understand, because a lot of times I, I know this isn't even the video, but a lot of times, Buddy was thinking it was her, mm -hmm. personally, not me physically. So, so yeah, I I think we'll, it's time to bring those back. Of course, I'm a happy camper. Yeah, you are. All right. So, uh, with that said. That was our, because we haven't done a video in a while. That no. was our quick, quick update to the update to the update. Of course. Okay. Enough talking about your junk now. Yeah. So what question did you get recently asked? So this lady contacted me and she wanted, her and her husband had been, been discussing getting into the pineapple world. And of course she had numerous, numerous questions and, and some of them were, kind of bordered on poly and some of them were on lifestyle and then of course she thought well is my husband pushing me into this and and uh like i told her i said you've got to communicate all of those issues for, for starters right and of course i asked her different questions about what you know he was doing or saying and and it, and it just turned out that he wasn't trying to push her into it he was just showing his um enthusiasm right and his excitement a as over to enthusiast. over enthused and which happens a lot it does and uh, i mean really think back for the people that are already in this in our world when you have had your first initial hookup gone to a club anything you come home and you're so excited about it and you want to hit buttons you want to tell everybody and you can't you can't just tell everybody. Well, it depends on who you are. There <laughs> are is, people there that would go to their job and tell everyone, mm -hmm. which we would never, ever advise. Mm -mm. No. Um, we, uh, we, he, pineapple world is a sexual lifestyle. It's not a marriage. It's not um, anything that you're trying to achieve. They're like Nadia Nolens. They have the sexual freedom parade. Hey, I was going to say that. Oh, sorry. So go ahead. I was going to say, so you go can pretty it. much go with sexual freedom. Right. And that's exactly what what this lifestyle is all about. Right. Now, what the sexual freedom parade is, it goes down Bourbon Street and through the French Quarter. And the one thing about it is it, it kind of opens people's eyes up that, hey, there's a lot of people that don't have the jealousies that normal relationships have mm -hmm. are that they are more sexually active or sexual beings. I truly believe that as a human race, we were never meant to be totally monogamous sexually. We are committed to each other. Yes. Me and Bunny have been married 38 years this uh, it was May 24th. Yeah. 
and we've been together over 39 years. Some people would always say, oh, your marriage is going to crash or you're going to get divorced. Uh, no, me and Bunny just know how to navigate. Mm -hmm. See, and that's the key thing is knowing how to navigate the pineapple world and not, I mean, we, we always tell, we, we used to tell people, jump in with both feet and then back out of the waters to your comfort level because if you go in too slowly, it kind of gets um, too many rules, too boring. <laughs> um, it's just, me and Bunny, our, our one rule was we had a onesie for everything. Meaning, if one of us did something the other really didn't care to see afterwards, we would talk about the whole encounter. And if one of us said, hey, we had fun, but I really didn't like this part of the encounter. Doesn't matter what it is. It could be someone playing with their toes. I don't have a foot fetish, but I might have an issue with somebody yes. doing yeah. something I wouldn't do at home. I don't know. I'm just <laughs> making stuff up. <laughs> but we agree that at that point, we won't cross that line again. No. No, we never crossed the line in the first place. No. Because we had a one Because we had, yes, because we established And we don't that. hold it against each other. Not at all. Not at all. Now, her concern was... It almost sounded as though her husband was looking for a poly relationship with another couple, and she didn't want to do that. She thought it was just going to be more fun to go out and mix and mingle with multiple people. Right. And, you know, I, that's what I told her. You know, you've got to communicate this with your husband. And I said, but, you know, things always evolve, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, you may start one way. You might end up at another. Yeah. There's couples that started off as pineapple and then turned poly. And then there's people that wanted to start off poly and turned pineapple. Mm -hmm. I mean, life is ever-changing. Kind of oh. like Garth Brooks, the song, The River. Of course. Gotta, I, gotta follow where it flows. I mean, like, you, you know, we're still in the pineapple world, but I mean, as far as doing anything it's been a long time <laughs> well i've been broken for a long time but i will say me and bunny we're not so much selective or picky some people because that comes up along as a negative connotation mm -hmm. we can be friends with pretty much everyone and I, I always have to leave myself an out because there are people we never want to encounter ever, ever again just because we weren't expecting. Exactly, yes. But when it comes to actually playing, all the moons have to align. we got to feel it, and then we're good with it. We don't go out necessarily looking for exactly the action because and, we don't want to get disappointed and you know there are a lot of misconceptions for people that are starting off in into this life that if they go to a club or they go here or they go there that they've got to play with just anybody that asks we've, absolutely not we've heard that from a lot of women mm -hmm. and it's ironic though we, we we heard that from a lot of women and it's mostly Women, and I, I'll tell you how I came up with this, mostly it's a women's idea about getting into the lifestyle. When we ran a club, we ran it for 20 years, and I would, whenever a new couple, brand new, I mean, big bugged out eyes and just, you knew. And I would always just have fun, open up general conversation, and one of my questions was always, Whose idea was it to come here? Mm -hmm. Because our club was the first thing they ever did. The first place they were meeting yes. people, first place they ever went to. So, and a lot of times I would probably, I mean, it was a, I don't even, I don't have a percentage, but it was a high racial of, it was the woman's idea. And it kind of, it kind of shocked me. Because you would, most people would think it's the guy's idea. The guy is the dog. The guy, yeah. the guy is the sleazy one. But I'm not saying women are. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that women are just as sexual, but out in the vanilla world, they don't show no. it as much. No, not at all. Not at all. And, you know, and that, and that kind of poses one of the other questions that we get 
all the time from the creepy people that say, how do I, how do I, um, get my wife into it? How do I talk my wife into this? Well, you don't. Well, you don't. You, you do. You there talk, is a way. Wait, there is a way. You talk to her about it. Yes. You communicate. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, our st we get probably half of our emails, our messages we get, half are from married men asking, either telling us how they wish their wife was like Bunny or asking us how to talk their wife into it, even to the point of asking if we would talk their wife into it. Yeah, and that's a big no. That's a big no. I no. mean, we'll, we'll answer questions. We'll talk to people. But the person has to be, has to understand that what we're talking about. <laughs> exactly. We don't, we don't want to throw out um, a job dropper and just say, Ooh. hey, you should be a swing, I mean, a pineapple person. We have... And we actually heard heard this the horror stories of of a couple went to meet a couple, and the wife had no clue what was going on, no right. clue, because he he did all of the talking, all of the chatting back and forth. He sent all of her pictures to them, and she had no clue whatsoever. That what she was, was going meeting. on? What was yeah, and that is just wrong in every sense of the word. Yep, and we don't agree with that. We started our videos. I don't know how long ago. I I have to go back and see when the first video was done, but our videos actually started with there was a couple. Now by back then there was only a few content creators. Yeah, there was. We weren't many even of a content creator at the time. Mm -hmm. We were just running a club. Yeah. And the one thing that we noticed at the club was the pineapple. They didn't call them pineapple people back then. They called them the SWINGERs. <laughs> I mean, let's bring it back to where it is. They keep changing <laughs> the terminology faster than we can keep Hell, up. We, we came along not too long after key parties. <laughs> right. And our wife. S W A P P E R S, yeah. <laughs> and I gotta say this because of the algorithm. So yeah. bear with me on this. But so we had seen a video where the couple said, "S Pineapple World was the best thing for your marriage, and you should get into it." And I looked at Bunny and I said, "That is probably I could see divorces happening," and. Mm -hmm. We set up our camera in our living room, because I go overboard, and we set goes, up a whole. Go bigger, go home. Yeah, we set up lighting, soft boxes, everything, and our first video was communication is the most important thing in your relationship. If you can communicate about anything, everything under the sun, you can. Not, I mean, it's embarrassing, and if you could just muscle through the embarrassment and talk to your spouse no you, no, you, no no if you if because <laughs> a lot of things are embarrassing to talk i would say about. if you can ask your husband hey do i have a hair in my butt crack you can talk about anything wow <laughs> well, i did not expect that one but yeah if you could talk about a hair in your butt crack um you could probably talk about pretty much everything yeah exactly so <laughs> if you could talk about your penile implant, you could probably talk about anything to everybody. <laughs> if you want to go that route. Of course, of course. You got that right. But yeah, the the biggest thing is we don't talk to wives. It's, it's I don't we never hear from wives talking to husbands into this. I mean, that's probably the easier target. <laughs> but we don't talk to wives I mean, we'll answer the wife's questions. We've actually had wives contact us and say, hey, my husband watched one of your videos and said communication is the best thing, and he brought up the pineapple world. I have serious questions. Can I ask you questions? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, we, we will. But we're only giving our opinion. But Yes. What works for us? I mean, we're an open book if you call us and ask us questions or you want to... You... 
have any concerns, definitely we'll talk to you. Um, but I'm not going to try to talk somebody into it. Right. Mm -mm. And, and there's a whole lot of gamut to lifestyle people. Um, starting off with, there are people, you don't actually have to physically co con or connect with somebody to be in this world. No, no. You know, we used to have a lot of people that came to our club that they just, they were more exhibitionists. So they wanted to come dance erotically, pull their boobies out of their dress. Right. They, they wanted to be able to. Mm -hmm. So we had that from, from the. All the way up. You imagine what could, people could do, and they did it. Yes. So there's so much. People just like so to be around it. the pineapple people because the pineapple people are so much more honest and open. Mm -hmm. And now, in today's terminology, now, mind you, we go back 25, yes. 27 yeah. years in the pineapple world. So I'm going to kind of say terminology we used back then that we would get slaughtered for <laughs> using today. Yes. What our thought was if a couple came to our club and they didn't want to touch they didn't want to physically touch another person. They just wanted to hang out, drink, have a good time, dance erotically like Bunny said, maybe get a little bit of naked um, on the dance floor or get up on our pole and be a stripper for a song or two for their husband, we always said, and this is where, don't slaughter me. This is just what the mentality was 20-some years ago. One drink shy of being a pineapple world. True. Very true. I, so drinking is a big thing in the pineapple world. Um, it can make... It can make you make mistakes, too. It can make you make a lot. But you just have to know that when you start drinking, you got to own up to your... Yes. Um, any mistakes that you feel you made and just get past it. Um, because obviously the other people, they may be aware that you're overly intoxicated. They may not be aware because they are just as intoxicated. So uh, me, and, me and Bunny have different things thoughts around all the politically correct going around if we if we lived by politically correct there would be no pineapple world no there no. wouldn't be Never. because everyone is going to find fault somewhere and they have to rephrase the terminology because they they fault even the terminology so much yeah yeah they're offended it's, it's very offended by certain phrases or words yeah it's very very and it's really hard to keep up with everything it's hard because before terminology would change every five plus years mm -hmm. now it seems like it changes every year well it's funny tom's a tiktok guy i am a tiktok guy um if <laughs> you see my tiktoks they're all dogs Every one of my TikTok is dogs. So there will be words that come out or phrases that come out, and I have to ask Tom, what does this mean? He's like, are you kidding me? Right. <laughs> I'm so far behind. But you know what? It's where I'm comfortable with. And this all entails what we're, we, we are um, but no, that's talking a, about in the original subject. Yeah. So we, you know, I basically told her, hey, this is – your life, yours and your husband's life, you do with it however you want to go. And our our saying is always, you can only go as fast as the slowest person. Right, you gotta and talk you, that way. You can't, you can't fault each other for somebody being slower than the other one. I only said that because I'm watching the microphones go up oh. and down, and when Bunny turns my direction, I watch it go down, and then when she turns back. So it's uh, not a blast, it's just... Uh, <laughs> I get blasted for her. I know, I know. For but me. But we, we talk to each other because I read lips. And I have my cochlear on so I can actually hear. On this side. On this side. Now, if she was on this side, I'd be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but did, did you even hear what I said? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I live with. She <laughs> had no clue what uh, I even said. Said all over again. I said you can only go as... A fast as the slowest person. I did I, hear that. what I say after that? I don't know. You can't fault each other for somebody going slower than the other one. Correct. And my 
my thing I always tell couples, especially new, new couples, talk, talk, talk. Meaning, talk before you go anywhere or, or meet anybody or anything. Put scenarios in your head. I know it's kind of, it could get stressful, you can oh, yeah. get anxieties, yeah. but you should be prepared for the encounter. If you're going to meet a couple at a bar or dinner, do you have an out? Mm -hmm. I mean, because you could walk in and as Bunny says, the first two, three, four words out of a guy's mouth, she knows right then and there if she even wants to communicate any farther. So you got to have an out. And the babysitter thing doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get the fake phone call. Oh, gotta get the babysitter. Oh, got to go. No, no. Just be honest. Just say, hey, we don't think it's going to work out. And we don't want to waste your time. And we don't want to spend $150 on a dinner sitting with people we have no nothing in common with. You don't have to be that dramatic. <laughs> but you I have. My buddy yeah. has. Buddy turned her back on a couple. But the guy was an arrogant chauvinist. Yes. So when she did that, I'm a nice guy. I had to sit there for 45 minutes and endure the other couple. Meanwhile, Bunny has her back. She's talking to another table. She's talking to waitresses. And this guy thinks he has a chance with her. And I'm like, you don't read body language. <laughs> Apparently, it's a deaf skill. Because I can read body language, facial expressions. Lips. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. when someone turns their back on me, I know. Okay, it's time to. And you know, move we've on. been we've been in this long enough too that we know each other's um, what are each other's likes and dislikes. And so, I mean, it, we both will almost know immediately. Oh yeah, I I mean, so um, here here's an out for new couples that we used to use, and it worked really really well. It was. Still works today. Not so much for us, because if people have seen our videos. But in the conversation, within so much time, you can actually talk about the weather. No matter if it's hot, cold, rainy, doesn't matter. You could talk about the weather. But the weather is the code for you guys. So I would look at Bunny, and, uh, or I'd look at, the general conversation, I would say, if I was interested in the other female, I would say, holy cow, Bunny, did you see that record temperature in Arizona? And Bunny would reply back either, yeah, it was really hot, meaning she was hot for the other guy. Or <laughs> she would talk about how cold it was in Iowa. <laughs> Immediately, if she said the word cold, I knew that it was time to start backing out of the conversation. and Because oh, we don't want to rooster block another no. couple ever. <laughs> so there's no reason, especially in a club setting or a hotel takeover, that you occupy someone's time because they're in a very short time frame. And you will find people, that, and people will go, oh, well, that was really rude. But no, it, it's not rude. The people will come up and be like, you know, with, within the first five minutes, hey, do you, are you guys players? Do you, right. Would you be interested? Like, hold on. We, we like to get to know people. Yeah, I mean, we. I met this one couple one time, and they literally came up and they sat at our table, and they go, so do you think there's a chance of us? And they said the word, F-U-C-K. And I'm like, um, nope. And he goes, hey, great, because uh, now you just saved me an hour. Right, and we were all good with that, and mm -hmm. there's no offense. <laughs> um, there, There's going to be a very high, high, high probability unless you're in it for play, and there's nothing wrong with that either. Mm -mm. Absolutely um, not. That you won't make a match with other people. There are people that go to parties and don't hook up multiple parties, many parties, then there's people that go to a party and hook up 10 times in one night. Well, and there's people that just absolutely love sex and they don't care with who. And more power to them. I mean, it is That's you. what the pineapple world... Yes. See, a lot of people lose focus yes. on that. But and, and then, like I said, there's the other ones that might once a year. And there is nothing wrong with where you go with this. Right.
And so I am going to lead us right into an advertising blog. Not an advertising well, no, we're not advertising nothing. Nope. So I basically told... You say the word advertising, you're, you're going to lose half of our audience. All right, so we're not advertising. Except for Tom's trips. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I told her, because she had so many different questions on different things that I couldn't answer her on. Right. So I told her there is a great convention coming up at the end of June. We actually wrote down a list of the places we're going to be yeah. through the month of June. But... If for any of you that are really, really new to this and that want to explore different options and different things and learn at different seminars and um, talk to thousands of people, Naughty in New Orleans yes. is the place to be. Yeah, it is the world's largest pineapple convention and upwards to 2,500 people on Bourbon Street for mm -hmm. four or five days. It, now, we'll be there for we, Wednesday we through Sunday. We come in when, Wednesday morning. And, and we it Sunday, starts yes. on Tuesday, but it, it's mild on Tuesday. Yeah. The Wednesday really, starts yeah, building. Mm -hmm. Thursday and Friday, Yeah. be prepared. So, um, you're going to... Things start at 10 a.m. I mean, from different seminars on newbies to uh, massages. massages to speed dating to poly um kink bye. play by you name it you're going to find it there and this most seminars are free there mm -hmm. are some paid ones but if they're paid there's a reason why and not and you got to sign up for those and there aren't quick. just seminars there's uh, Bourbon Street parties. There's right, four but for day. new couples, the seminars are yes. would be probably key. Mm -hmm. um, then uh, you you start off at noon. Part start your party at Bourbon noon. Street. There are two parties that start at noon every single day, mm -hmm. and then at three o'clock, two more open up, and the noon ones kind of shut down, and they open up for. But they are closed off to only the attendees for this convention it is so bulging to get in that the line starts almost an hour before the event mm -hmm. um tom's trips and me and bunny will be there along with our host mike and denise and we will be doing we're not sure yet uh it'll either, it's probably going to be fat cats on friday at noon and if you're going to be at Nadia Nolens, we invite you to join us at noon at Fat Cats. You are very positive that you're going to get that time slot. I think I think we are. <laughs> and if it's not Fat Cats, it'll be Bandstand. But I think it's going to be Fat Cats because that was I got the choice of parties and I put Fat Cats as the priority. Yeah. So, but you know, it, it's just a great place to go and to meet people. And then after that. Before they have the ballroom parties at nine o'clock at night, they have multiple meet and greets on what you're looking for. Yes. Bi couples, poly couples, fetish. You, and they're private too. Need, mm -hmm. uh, so if you're a bi couple, you're not going to be out in the lobby. They're actually going to have a room specifically so that way you don't have lurkers or people leering to see who the. Um, by couples are yeah uh, they'll actually have to go into the room poly couples they'll probably have their own room and then they'll have a main meet and greet and that's the ballroom now currently i mean we are only three weeks out four weeks out from this major event the two it's june 28th <clears throat> through the 30th the two main hotels are already sold out but they do have another overflow hotel i mean tom and i are not even staying in the main hotel no nope. we are staying off we're only staying a block away, but it's just going to be a great, great week and a very good learning for the newbies. And these events are great to just go to not just Naughty Nolens, but there's a lot of hotel takeovers. There's um, we're well, going this... we're going to Sooner Swing. We're leaving at four in the morning. Yep. So you got four in the morning. This video will actually come out after we've left here. Yes. So, I mean, we're going to Sooner Swing in Oklahoma. Right. They already have over 800 people coming for this 800 weekend. 800 people at a campground. campground. At a campground. 
Um, also going on this weekend is the Splash Party. Yep, in Atlanta. In Atlanta, which is another That's really, really good one. That's a huge event. Um, we've been to Splash. We have we, not been Fort to... Fort Lauderdale. We have not been to Ca uh, Atlanta. No, we haven't been to Atlanta. But we will because it's only four hours from us. Right. But um, they have Splash Parties in Atlanta, Fort, Fort Lauderdale, Lauderdale, and, and Houston. Houston. And so there's so many great, great right. And then, like out I there. say, that then there's all the hotel takeovers. Mm -hmm. I, there's just so many we can't even list them all. Then you got your regular clubs. Now the club we're gonna go to, not this weekend, but the next Friday. We're only going there Friday night because we're going to a wedding Saturday. Mm -hmm. So Friday, June seventh, we will be at the Corral. In so that's thecorral.com. With a K. Yep. So if you want to meet us, uh, come out Friday night. I don't know how late, late we'll be there, but um, we're going to, we're we're leaving here Thursday to get there for Friday so party. So that's the Corral in Spring Grove, Pennsylvania. Yes. And some people have asked, I'm four hours away, five hours away. We're 12 and we're driving. <laughs> so... Yes. And they always say, is it worth it? I don't know if it's worth it for you or not. It is for us. We absolutely love the club. We love the people. We would recommend it to anybody. But we don't want somebody to say, oh, Tom and Bunny recommended it. And we hated it because it's not your cup of tea. It's, this it's something that you should experience on your own the first time and make your own decision. <laughs> and it, and it's, bad, it's bad to say, but Tom and I have a rule. You always try things twice. Because maybe. <laughs> maybe there are sometimes. Yeah, but we've gone back to different places and yeah. they had a completely different feel. Right. Just every night, and we know this from running an on-premise club for twenty years. Every night is different than the other. Every night. single night, and if you have a bad experience one night, you might have a phenomenal experience. You might have a phenomenal experience, can't wait to get back, and it doesn't meet your expectations, and you leave there with a negative thought in your head. Just remember, it varies per the party theme, the mm -hmm. day of the week. If you're going during Mother's Day weekend, it's going to suck. <laughs> yeah. Typically, if you're going on a three-day weekend, like Memorial Day or yeah. Labor Day, they generally are a lot slower because everybody's out on their boats or uh, a little va vacation. So, yep. yeah. Graduation. Like, so, it all you got to look at the holidays. You got to look at what is happening around that might um, detract from the, yeah. the venue. And if there's nothing going on around, your venue is probably going to be hopping. Well, I know um, there's a club in Iowa and. The Friday opening Friday night fair, they just close their club because no one's going to be there. Right. So everybody goes to the, the Iowa, Iowa State, State fair. fair. Yep. We've so, I there. mean, yeah. <laughs> we actually lived in Iowa for a year and a half. Don't ask us why. <laughs> we don't even know. <laughs> we actually started our pineapple. And um, we did. Our, uh, uh, yes, our journey. Our journey. Our pineapple journey started. Living in a small <laughs> town of 800 people. Was it uh, 800? No, no, 300. It, it had 96 houses. 96 houses. It did have 97, but one burned while yeah, we there. Yeah, and the fire department watched it burn down. <laughs> and um, so anyway, we'll be at the corral, not this Friday, but next Friday. June 7th, June yeah. June 7th. Then what's the next? Hedonism. We're back to Hedonism, and we will be there with Cassidy Crush. Mm -hmm. Cassidy Crush is, it's a younger crowd because we actually timed it around teachers. Yes. Because the teachers wanted to come, but they had school and everything, so we kind of navigated it to where they can attend. So it tends to be a little on the younger side, and when I say younger side, it's not 18, 21. It's uh, probably in the... Mid thirties to early forties or 50s, mid forties. Yeah. So we're the old ones. We are. We're, we're the cool aunt and uncle. <laughs> well, that's what they tell that's, us. I know. That's horrible. but would they kick us out of bed for eating crackers? Mm, no. I don't know. Maybe not. We'll have to find out. Mm. <laughs> Maybe not this time though. <laughs> and then not when this time, then we come back and 
three days we, later, we're we in New Orleans for Nadia and Nolens. And you know what? I, I'm very, very giddy about going back to Nadia. It's been, it's probably. It's been five years. It's, yeah, because we didn't get, 2019 was the last time we went. There you go. And so. So our, it was always, our claim to fame is we were awarded our, how, when they announce or they, we, we were, were the, Presented we as were, we were presented as the king and queen of Nadia Nolens on Bourbon Street, and yes. we got to get ride in a float. The the um, bunch of guys pushed these floats down. You have previous kings and queens and other royal court. So that was actually kind of fun. Yeah. Actually, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. And Nadia Nolens has always been our one of our favorite events to yeah, go to. Yeah, because and, there's so much going on. I mean, you do breakfast, lunch, and dinner on your own. I mean, they do have a, um, a brunch and... I don't even know if they're I doing it I don't think they're year. having uh -huh. it anymore because it, it's really... That's a hard one to There's a lot of... Orchestrate. They have pizza at midnight. Yeah, if you're in the playrooms, <laughs> they bring in like hundreds of pizzas. <laughs> And some people will just go up to the playroom just to get pizza. And people are like, ew, no, 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 it's all sanitary. It's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, and it's probably them. some of the best pizza. I don't remember the name of the place, um, but Crescent City Pizza. Do they get it from Crescent City Pizza? I believe pizza? so, because that's where um, we got it for Cassidy. That's what we're having for lunch During, on that uh, Wednesday. Tutu run, remember? Yeah. Yep, that's the first thing we're having for lunch on that Wednesday. If you haven't had Crescent <laughs> City Pizza on Bourbon Street, every place sells pizza. Crescent City sells really good pizza. And it's, it's down there. It, it's probably a good four or five blocks from the, from the resort. And it doesn't... From well, the if resort, you're walking from, from Canal Street... Down Bourbon Street, yeah. towards the um, Pirate Bar. Oh, uh, John Lafitte's? Yeah, and you everyone has to go there. That's pretty much the end of Bourbon Street. Yeah. So you walk from Canal all the way down to John Lafitte's, and it's all candlelit. It's like you're in the 1700s. It's really cool. So, yeah, I'm uh, really, really looking forward to going back. And, you know, and for us, it's like, being newbies all over again too because it's been so long since we're gonna we've be fresh been. meat we are gonna be fresh meat but no I, one's gonna know who we are i don't know if my yeah i don't know dingling is gonna work yet or not nah, i mean I it works know. but i don't know it's still painful yeah yeah so i i'm gonna have to heal for a while i have to be very very gentle very gentle just and, lay there and we've talked don't move and we've talked don't before. rock your hips we've talked before i'm not really gentle don't push back hard don't push <laughs> just lay there just let me do my thing just be a pillow princess there you go yep so that's yeah no not uh, e that's not easy for me <laughs> We, 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 I mean, we're we're looking forward. To, we're going to be going to more larger events. We've been going to more clubs in more specific locations, like the Corral uh, Vibe in mm -hmm. Nashville, yep. our Murfreesboro. Uh, we're going to specific clubs. We have a host couple that go to Trapeze, and they're going to Tempted in Lexington. Uh, this month. Yep, June um, 14th, June 15th and 16th. Okay, so, but, I mean, you're, you're, you're meeting the uh, um, general location of that specific yeah. club. We like to go to where people travel in, like Splash Party, uh, Nadia and Nolens, the hotel parties. I mean, we just came back from Vegas. Yep, and there, there was a lot of people that flew in for that mm -hmm. one. Yeah, so... We're kind of getting back to uh, almost like a grassroots, yeah. which is what we started, and and we're just ready to hit the ground running again. Right. So, again, the best thing to do is, and I didn't finish off. I talked about talking about... You finished off this morning. <laughs> wow. We talked about discussing all the hypotheticals. Yes. But what we didn't talk about is... Me and Bunny always discuss when we come home at night. Now, two things happen. Whether anything happened or not, we discuss what we liked about the night, what we didn't care for, or anything like that. But what, if if nothing happened, we, you do have to question why did nothing happen. 
Was it us? Was it them? Was it one of us? Were, were we putting off the don't approach us? It usually stems from bunny tops too much. Yes, but I talk too much on camera. <laughs> so I could talk too? forever on camera. But when it's at a club, I know when to shut up. But it's kind of, <laughs> even even after all these years, you, you still get giddy and you still get nervous. Oh, we st oh yeah, yeah, we still get really mm -hmm. nervous. And people are like, oh, you're the experienced people. No, no, no. No, we, we don't play that much. We no. really don't play that much. Mm -mm. And we're fine with that. Um, the, the main focus is it's us. Yes. And we, we won't let anything interfere with our relationship. No, no. So we won't take one for the team. Now taking one for the team is such a neg negative connotation. Taking one for the team just means one of you aren't physically attracted to the other person. It doesn't mean they're a bad person or anything like that. It just means that you don't want to get physically intimate with someone you're not physically attracted to. And unfortunately, in this pineapple world, there there's a lot of mismatched couples. Me and Bunny are probably mismatched to a lot of other couples. Couples may want Bunny, but not me. Or they may want me and not Bunny. I know that's the rarity. I know I'm patting myself on the back and stroking <laughs> my own ego here. But it, it, it is what it is. One of, our, um, one of our encounters was at Hedonism. And it just happened to be a single female yep. and a single guy. Yeah. So it worked out it did. really well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it wasn't a couple that one of us was hit or miss on. Right, right. And, you know, and think it happens. I mean, it, like you said, the stars aligned. <laughs> it did. But our biggest thing is we always come home and we talk about it. And um, if, uh, and this is the new new phrase, but we always say we, re um, we reclaim each other if we've played but I don't call it reclaim. We reconnect. Yeah. So after, if we do have a physical encounter with somebody, see, I'm using the right proper yes, wording that doesn't get us kicked off the algorithm. If we have a physical interaction with another couple, and sometimes there are single females, sometimes there are single men, but we focus more on um, both of us playing. Yes. Or interacting. Yes. So when we do come home, we get physically intimate with each other because the last thing I want to do is one of us doesn't wake up in the morning and the other one has to go through the rest of their life knowing that the last person that person was physically intimate with was not me. <laughs> exactly. So call it um, um, low self-esteem. It, 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 this is a morbid, even a morbid thought but we've even discussed it if if there's anything that happens in the middle of play and god forbid you know one of us has a heart attack you push off the other partner and jump on oh and <laughs> if i have the heart attack bunny knows how to well she has to learn how to fight the new one but i don't want to go to the morgue or the hospital with a, a stiffy what so, did they? What did that one? They called a forklift because a forklift. there's two tubes, and I, in a future video, I'll show you what the whole implant looks like. But there's a tube on each side of the shaft, so they called a forklift because they're both firm. Yeah. So I don't want to be called a forklift. No. So I got to show Bunny where the new button is because <laughs> it was high yeah. right. Now it's low middle. Yeah. So. Yeah, if something happens to me, she's just going to press the... I, all she has to do is press for a second, and it will eventually go down all on its own. <laughs> I'm not We're a crazy. driver. We're crazy. <laughs> We're, yeah. But, if, hey, that's us. That's us. What are we at? So, um, we're at time to go pack. What time? We're at 53 minutes. Oh, we're at under an hour. Yeah. I, I told I would know it's giving you 30 minutes. Yeah, well, we always start off our videos saying we're going to do 30 minutes, and then right, one of us doesn't shut up. Because now I'm looking at it.
Tom wants to go to bed in one hour and 40 minutes. We still have to make dinner and we still have to pack and we'll pack probably, the car. Uh, we'll probably go out to dinner. <laughs> I'm going to send Tom up to the store for a dinner run and uh, I'll, I'll finish packing. All right. So if you want to meet us, definitely uh, I got to update our TomandBunny.com. I, um, I stopped doing it for a while because we were getting some stalkers mm -hmm. and... I'll be honest, they made us very nervous putting out too early where we are going to go. Yes. Sometimes it's better to put out after you've gone, and then they can learn about it and then book next year and stuff like that. So with yeah. that, we just told you where we're going to be for June. I know it's very short notice, but if you'd like to meet us, Naughty and Nolens, it's naughty-events.com. Or go to TomStrips.com yeah. and just scroll down. Yeah, don't go to 90 hyphen events because we make a commission if you just book it and it costs you no more. So, yeah, go to TomStrips.com and it's underneath. Um, just scroll down the main yep, page. And you'll see it. And just click on the naughty. And I, uh, and naughty I know knowledge. it works because somebody just booked one today. Oh, did they? Yes. Ha ha. <laughs> so, uh, and that's how we're able to do these videos. Yeah. You support us by booking travel. It costs you no more money. And you might save money depending on like our yeah. group trips to hedonism. You actually save money booking through Tom's trips. Mm -hmm. And we are the leader, the leader in hedonism travel throughout the year with over 20 group trips. We book more rooms at hedonism than anybody else. That we do. For 30 years, our company has been in business. Yes. Yes. We've been really working it hard too. Coming, we making a big comeback after COVID. COVID was that, COVID hurt. That kicked everybody's butts, and you know what? We uh, swept off the dust, and we came back with a vengeance, and uh, we're bigger and badder than not bigger and badder. We are bigger and better than before. Right now, we probably didn't fully answer the question that was asked. Cause, no, because that's Tom and Bunny. That's us. We <laughs> we, we just randomly talk. Um, I mean, we could answer the question in two minutes, but we like to talk. <laughs> I like to talk. <laughs> if you can't see it, Bunny was pointing at me. <laughs> All right. We need to get off this. Uh, they need to... Um, they need to go eat. They need to go eat. Oh, can I do a shout out to Jack and Diane who just booked with me? And I know that they watch us while they're at their home gym. Hi, Jack and Diane. We should play the song. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Little Diddy yeah. by Jack and Diane. Of course. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, definitely come travel with us. We we love to meet people. Um, don't be a stalker. No. No, don't. <laughs> Oh, and don't if you, don't make us um, take down all of our schedule because you're stalking either. And if you email us or DM us, and we don't respond, we don't respond to hey, hi. You're hot. You're hot. I want to play. I mean, we right? Can I ask a question? We don't even respond to that. Ask the question, and we shall respond. Yes. Maybe. Respond. <laughs> Send a whole <laughs> sentence. Send, send something of substance. Yes. I mean, oh. All right. I, I was no, going through no, messages the no, other day. I know. And I literally going hundreds down and seeing stuff that I should have replied two months ago. All right. Well, he'll reply. I'll reply. <laughs> All right. Until next time. We'll see you soon. We'll see you soon.